Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am just filming this tutorial on Margot Tenenbaum from The Royal Tenenbaums and I just watched that movie for the first time literally tonight. I've always wanted to recreate the look though. I've just never gotten around to watching the movie and I got this fabulous fur coat. It is faux, so please don't get mad. <laughs> and then um, I just saw it and I knew I had to do a look on it but I didn't want to do it without giving the movie proper justice and you should watch it because it's really good. Anyways, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with my hair just so that I can like pin it out of the way because my little baby hairs keep like <laughs> falling down. So all I did was start with like a pretty far over side part, at least further over than I normally do. So now I'm just going to go in with my Panasonic straightener. This one's new and I've been really liking it. I used it in my last video and it worked really well. Um, the plates are like really smooth, which I really like because you know how sometimes when you're like Straightening I don't know if this just happens to me, but it like sticks to your hair almost and it like makes the little kinks I don't know if that's just a me problem, but this one doesn't do that, which I really like I'm gonna be using also the highest heat setting on this. That's the nice thing I on a daily basis use the lowest one just to do like the most Gentle thing for my hair, but in the movie her hair is like pin straight So I want to get my hair as straight as I possibly can so I'm gonna be doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and section off my hair. All right. And I'm gonna get as close to the root as possible as I can. The straightener's pretty good at getting pretty close. And I like that it's got kind of like a thicker edge so it doesn't burn my ear every time I get close because <laughs> pretty much always burn my ear every time I straighten my hair. Okay, so hair's done. I just sprayed some hairspray in it. That's why it looks so like stiff up here. And now I'm just gonna take like a little pink barrette. I'm looking at like a photo reference. I thought she had it more like right here, but it looks like it's more like it's like equal with her eyebrow. Um, first I'm going to start with my eyebrows. I've already lightened them. I mentioned that in my last video. I didn't do it for this video. I just did it because I felt like my eyebrows were getting too dark for my face. So I like the way they look. But I want them to be even lighter. So I'm going to go over them with like a little bit of this concealer stick. And then here it is. And then some of this Anastasia brow stuff in the blonde shade. So let's do that. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this same palette, um, the smoky one from NYX, and I'm going to stick with like these, oh, these black colors. It's like a black and then a sparkly gray, and I'm going to first use the sparkly gray really lightly and just smudge that all around my eye. So now that I have done that, I'm going to go in with like a black pencil liner and very heavily, heavily line my lower lash line.
All right, so now I've done that. Um, just to make it easier on myself, on my upper lash line, I'm gonna use a liquid liner because, I don't know, I just find it very hard to use pencil liners on my upper lash line. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm gonna add just a few freckles because it is Gwyneth Paltrow and she's got beautiful freckled skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If you guys want a separate tutorial on that, of course, I will have it linked down below. That's probably like my most popular video is my fake freckles one. And if you want, use my coupon code for freck because it's good. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna do my freckles and I'll be right back. Okay. So freckles are done. Now we're pretty much almost done with the look. I'm gonna go in with a really muted blush. This is Dallas <laughs> from Benefit. And I'm gonna pop that on my cheeks. Blush is done. Now I'm gonna go in with lips and her lips, I didn't, I think they're just kind of natural. So I'm gonna go in with this one. And by the way, I'm really sorry if you guys can hear the trash thing in the background. I know it's beeping a lot. I know I can hear it. If you guys can, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I don't think you can. Anyways, I'm going in. I really need to buy the big size of this because I use it like almost every video, but it's Bare Minerals in the shade Boss and it's like miniature miniature thing and I'm gonna pop that on the lips just a really nice natural color oh duh I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm really dumb guys I literally almost forgot mascara so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna use this one it's the Monsieur Big from I believe Lancome I don't know it was a birthday gift from Ulta Alrighty, you guys so this is the finished look I love how it turned out these are like my favorite kind of videos to do if you guys like them let me know because I would love to do more recreation vids they're so much fun I love doing them because I'm kind of personally I'm a little bored with like the normal YouTube like just everyday natural makeup I just feel like for me personally it gets boring I don't know about you guys you guys are the watchers so I will do them if that's what you guys like watching but I obviously really love doing this type of thing as well so let me know um this coat is faux it's thrifted and it's my new favorite thing and I'm taking it with me I'm going on a trip to New York so I had to get something nice and warm and I saw this and I was like oh my gosh I have to do a video on Margot Tenenbaum. So anyways, I'm talking so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.